Hello everyone. Welcome to the Cloud Network. In this video, I will show you how to install Auto IT version 3.32 in your Windows 7. Not only in Windows 7, you can install on your Windows 8 and in the store also. And let me tell you what is uh, Auto IDS. This Auto IDS is a freeware basic like scripting language the scripting language auto id uh, it's used to design for windows graphical user interface and general scripting also has been designed and the use of this similar date version so this is the link where you can download this auto ids and this is for your uh, let me show you the link we open google and type auto it this is the auto it website the first link and click on this auto it download link upon clicking on the auto, the auto it download link you will be seeing this current version on your screen this is your latest version 3.3.2 and has been released on 1st 2003 the for installation is here you can see this is for your 32 bit supported and 64 bit supported can be installed and uh, here is your download id is and for scripting editor you can download this one for zip purpose you want to download zip uh, you can download for zip here and uh, for graphical pages here documentation beta purpose you can download here so in this video and this is your uh, version of 3.3 when you click on this download uh, auto id you will be asked is here showing about this level and this size so i have already downloaded this one and uh, let me show you how to install your windows 7 this one is auto edit just double click on your setup and here is unpackaging so here is the next step which is saying welcome to the auto click on next and agree to your license before you accept your this rate and here is a two methods you want to install this native 64 bit by tools or as you 64 bit by default so I am going to use here uh, this one 64 bit by default is the matter. If you are running 64 bit options, you can use native. So this two option is I have a 64 bit of system, so that I am using 64 bit. If you have a 32 bit of your processor means you can select your 32 bit. Click next. Select a default option for your A U3 files. I run the script or you want to edit. I'm going to run the script for me and if you want to check the script examples you can check otherwise you can uncheck and this is the location where it is going to auto install if you want to uncheck you can uncheck click on install so now this uh, installation setup is completed uh, i'm checking this and this not click to finish so upon clicking on finish so if you want to start up this auto it is click on start go to our programs and find your auto id version 3 this is for your windows 64 bit and this for your auto windows information 32 bit check for updates compile the script dot you want to run the script you want to run for 32 bit you want to click on this auto id 64 bit uh, as you can see and to give a title class class instance control this visible text hidden text static text join if you want to exit, here is the exit option. Close this one, then go to again. Click on auto. If you want to compile the script, to here is it. You need to browse the script where you have the, uh, you have any script. I'm going to, uh, no, I do not have any script right now. So, in distinction, this is the default. If you want to convert anything, means you can have this one from here. If you want to convert your script to exe converter means you can use this option just browse the script and have to convert this to your uh, default or exe file and so so you want to run again for this year uh, run script 64 bit if you have already script me uh, written means you can run by browsing your script and you will see your output so this is the end of my auto rt installation so basically uh, if you get any problem during the installation uh, you can comment uh, below to my video thank you for watching our network please subscribe to my channel